So as we discuss the, the, the opportunities that we have from different banks, we have to put this in a, at the back of our minds that power has to be affordable. The visit from the European Union, French Development Agency and representatives from the European Investment Bank is pivotal in strengthening support for the energy sector with this collaboration to avail a rehabilitation financing package worth 30 million euros. And the idea is that the European Union will provide a grant of 30 million euros uh, so that we can have favorable loans from the European, U in European Investment Bank and the French Development Agency of 75, respectively 65 million euros. That is in total 150 million euros which should be enough to rehabilitate this dam so that it can function and provide electricity to Ugandans for another 30 years. Once expectations are set and agreements fully signed, rehabilitation works are projected to start in January 2026. Actually, for us, we wanted to enhance the capacity of Naruba Rechira so that the plant can generate more than 380 if we can have that opportunity. But Team Europe is saying that they will begin, as in first phase, they will begin with the rehabilitation of this plant, such that we go by the capacity that it is, is being generated now. And, and uh, we know that phase two will come. Nalubali hydropower station's need for rehabilitation is driven by aging infrastructure, reduced operational capacity, and ongoing structural deficiencies. Addressing these issues is crucial for maintaining Uganda's energy security and cost-effective electricity supply. There's a lot of uncertainty in climate change, but when I saw in the terms of reference, one of the objectives after rehabilitation is to ensure that Hiranaruare will become climate resilient. So that is very good news for us. At least we know that the plant will be able to to withstand the changes in climate. As of September 2024, Uganda's total installed power generation capacity has increased to approximately 2,200 megawatts following the commissioning of the Karuma Hydropower Station. Wadulo Makanold for UBC News in Jinja.